I'd like to spend a minute or two and introduce you to a harmonic mechanism for the mind. This one will be number eight. And we're going to be talking about super and sub positions. These are terms used by George Van Epps in his books, Harmonic Mechanisms for the Guitar. And I thought it's a useful concept because it can suddenly open up chord shapes that we know or note pairings that we know and really see that they're a congregation of pitches that can move in different directions from a, a given starting point and that we needn't feel that they're just static blocks. So we're going to begin here as always in the key of no sharps, no flats. I just started here with a C triad, second inversion, meaning the fifth is in the bass. So the C is right in the middle here on the third string fifth fret. The fifth below it is on the fourth string fifth fret. That's a G, G, A, B, C, five, six, seven, one. The E above it is a third on the second string fifth fret. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three. So we have five, one, and three. Those designations aren't so important here as much as we want to know the scale and what's above and below that are still in the framework that we're working in, which is the key of no sharps, no flats. So this, we're going to start on the fourth string, G. And we're going to take this voice, G, and put it in the sub position, meaning it's going to go down to the next scale pitch that it can below. And what happens here is we get 5, 5, 5, G, C, E, F, C, E. So that voice is in sub position. We've lowered it. If we were in another part of this scale, perhaps that voice would have lowered a half step. But in keeping with this key of C, key of no sharps, no flats, the G is going to go to F. I'm going to bring it back. If we put that voice in the super position, it's going to look like an A minor chord, but it's really this voice has moved up a step in the scale. In this case, it's the seventh fret of the fourth string A. So now we have A, C, E. Go back. Sub. Super. What about the third string? Everybody's fifth fret, G, C, E. That C is going to go to B. We're going to have an E minor triad. This is 5, 4, 5, G, B, E. So that voice is in the subposition. Can I come back? Let's put it in the superposition. So now we have G, D, E. 5, 7, 5. Come back. So th the um, major third, let's put it in the subposition, second string. So down to D here on the third fret, we have G, C, D, back to our original. And we put that second string in the superposition, G, C, F, five, five, six. if we do a few at a time let's take the fourth and third strings together so we're in where we were to begin with sub both of those voices go sub it looks like G 13th take them back let's take them both superposition so here's a D E what about the top two voices G, C, E. Now we get a G triad with those in subposition. G, B, D, five, four, three. Back home. Let's take them to the superposition. Looks like D minor. Five, or sorry, seven, seven, six, A, D, F. So 
so we're still thinking of our starting point and modifying it. So what if we did um, these three voices, the middle voice and the upper voice are going to go in opposite directions. So third string is going to go sub and the upper voice is going to go super. Looks like G7. So these are things to do very slowly and to do in your mind as well. You want to make sure you know the notes that you're playing on the board. We want to be able to start anywhere. Say, here's a C triad, eight, sorry, ten, nine, eight. Let's put the lower voice in sub, middle voice in sub, upper voice in sub. So it's a way of thinking of these voices as being free. They're not stuck in a box. We want them to be able to go any which way. And we have a reference from one starting point, a whole constellation of little voice moves that can happen in a key. I hope this has been of interest to you and maybe open some doors. I'll try to continue this series and come up with things to learn and think about. Again, this is Harmonic Mechanisms for the Mind, number eight, and I wish you, as always, a very good day.